All right, so today I'm gonna to be talking about some homeschool mom confessions. <laughs> I may regret this. <laughs> so as soon as daddy gets home, I send my kids to their dad for everything. <laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> I hope you don't watch this video. But I send them to their dad for it. They be like, mommy, can I, do this? can I have this? Can I have that? Go ask your daddy. Can I do this? Can I do this? Go ask your daddy. Can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Go ask your daddy. I'm tired. But do you know how many questions I get asked a day? By the time he get home, I'm like, he needs to be asked some questions too. All right? <laughs> so bad. I'm so bad. This video is a collaboration with my friend Katie over at Life in the Mundane. Her channel is an amazing resource channel full of tips and tricks and resources for homeschooling stay-at-home moms. I can't possibly imagine what this lady would have to confess about. I just feel like she's like goals, but check out her confessions because you know, know they gotta be good. <laughs> My kids do two maths and three histories. I don't know if that's much of a confession, but it's true. Why? Do they do two maths and three histories? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, okay, like, I feel like it gives them a well-rounded, like, math and history approach. Yes, I do feel that way. I feel like it's, um, that, like, one of their maths is more, like, mastery and the other one's, like, very much a spiral math and so they get the best of both worlds they don't really care that they're doing two maths they don't really care that they're doing three histories it's more books to read it makes our homeschool richer i've got all the excuses but really it's just what we have always done and it works so, <laughs> so we're just gonna keep on doing it but i guess my confession is i ain't got no real reason why we do so much <laughs> all right so if you've seen our video talking about our morning basket and all of our read alouds, you would know that um, we are doing a lot of read alouds this year. And my confession, I don't like read alouds. I don't like to read out loud. I get tired and winded. I'm pregnant now. I, I don't even got that much air in me right now. And I'm using all of it to read aloud to these kids. Um, it... <laughs> Sometimes the books are boring. <laughs> My kids don't like how I read. They don't like how I read. They're like, Mom, can you read a little faster? They look this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like read alouds. I really don't. I don't, I, like, I don't like to read aloud. Like, I don't mind read alouds because I love, 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 love script and audio books and all the things. Like, if the book was available, on Audible, that's what we would be using, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> well, the one that we're reading right now, it's not, and I have to read it aloud, and I don't like it, and I don't look forward to it, and I procrastinate doing it, because I don't want to do it, <laughs> but I still do it. You know what? Because sometimes we have to do hard things, <laughs> but I really don't like to read out loud. I don't even like to read like Dr. Seuss books. I'm just not, you know, we all have our things, and I'm just... I just, I don't like to read out loud. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right. So this one's kind of serious. Um, but it's a pretty big confession of mine. Um, I feel like I killed my son's love of learning. Like, I truly do. I feel like because I expected perfection over, um, over, progress when he was young because that's all that I've ever like known um but because I expected that from him and because I had such like high expectations on myself that as like a homeschooler that I have to like show up and show out and do all the things I feel like I killed my son's love of learning um thank god <laughs> that there is grace and redemption and we have worked towards um rebuilding back that love of learning and just really listening to him when it comes to what he wants to learn and how he wants to learn and different things like that um 
we've I've brought I've brought him in a lot to try to build that back up but at one point he like hated school and it's because of how hard I was on him and the truth is I want to have standards and I want to teach them the right way I still do um so it's not that like I want to teach bad habits or I'm like do whatever you want or whatever the situation is I am wrestling with the idea that because of my overcorrecting and my level of perfection that I may have in a lot of ways crushed my kids love of learning and so and and so I just want them to know that their best is good enough you know and so I'm working on just being more um encouraging and um, encouraging progress over perfection over the hundreds and all the things I mean he's still like my oldest he still struggles with that just wanting to get a hundred percent on everything and I can't help but feel like I um, contributed to that a lot so and I hold a lot of guilt because of that but grace upon grace right so I can't maintain my house and homeschool like it is a no for me. It is a no-go. I cannot do it. I can't be cleaning and homeschooling at the same time. What ends up happening is I am getting frustrated by interruptions during my cleaning or getting frustrated that I can't clean it well enough or that I have to clean this and talk to and deal with kids at the same time. I can't keep this clean beautiful house while homeschooling like my house after we are done with our homeschool day is like we need a pickup like if we do not pick up this house is a mess like our house is a straight up mess while we homeschool so all those pinterest worthy homeschooling things that we see um during <laughs> like all those pinterest worthy homeschooling things that we see um they're not in my home like no not here the house is literally trashed after home school like we have to have an afternoon pickup in order for our house to like not look like it's just bad it's just bad pencils crayons all the things all the things but i just tell myself laser focus right now you are homeschooling then you can turn into the the um what do you call the cleaning lady but right now you are the teacher <laughs> focus <laughs> Don't forget to watch Katie's video over at Life in the Mundane and see what her confessions are. And until next time, bye.